think you're best known for in adult? Uh, I think I'm best known in adult for my ass. What's the largest thing you've placed in your anus, mistakenly or otherwise? Uh, the largest thing in my blood. I, I have to think about this, actually. Um, a fist. A fist. Male, female? Chanel Preston's fist. Oh, that's not that. I, uh, that's like only, that's like 12 Couric's. Okay, <laughs> if, if, uh, if someone wanted to see your best stuff today as performer and as director, what should they look at? Uh, they should go on to evilangel.com. As a veteran performer, is directing just a way for you to continue the cycle of abuse that the directors have heaped upon you? Not at all. Have you ever uh, talked your way out of a sticky situation? I always talk my way out of sticky situations. What's your favorite nickname for male and female genitalia? Um, male and female genitalia. I kind of just go back to like pussy and dick or cock and Old cunt. I, I like cunt and I like... Um, I like I, I lately I like Dick. I don't know why. Dick is Dick's a nice one. What would be your reaction if you were told you had to marry the first person you ever had a crush on? Dread because I know what he looks like now. <laughs> Does it bother you that Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island? No, I think yeah. it uh, it doesn't at all. What would be your superpower of choice, and would you use it for good or evil? Oh, my superpower of choice. I think the vodka's hitting me. I'm sorry. Hang on a second. I'm slowing down. Um, I'd like to... I always go back to flying. I'd love to be able to fly. And I would fly for the good of all mankind. It would be inspiring. Yes. It would inspire. If you could, uh, If you could only shoot from now on with... One male and one female performer forever. You only get the choice of one more. Who would those people be? Uh, it, it could be people that have retired too. Name your oh performance. God, see now you've now you've said that you've said that it could be people that are yes. retired. That's yeah. fucking hard. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, female first because I think it's easier for me. Shit. There's so many good ones. I I really 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 like. Um, Do I have to only pick one? I do. No. I, no. I could pick. Can I pick three females? That'd be. You'd be on a great desert island. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna say Stoya because I just I just worked with her and she's she's lovely. Um, I would also pick Dana D. Armand. And is it because she's funny on set? Dana's funny on set, but she's also I've never seen her turn in a bad scene, no. and she's always game, and she's always happy to be there. Even when she's not happy, she's happy to be there. Uh, and then another female, that Brie Daniels. Um, and then male, I'm gonna say. Man, James Dean is really good. I mean, he's just he's just a good performer. I really love Tyler Nixon. I'm super into Tyler Nixon. I'm gonna say Tyler, and I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Mark Davis. Is it true you have no game? It is absolutely true. I have to pay people to have sex with me. It's 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 so embarrassing and so creepy. Is your is your cup half empty or half full? My cup is always half full. Really? My cup isn't half full or half empty. Mine is empty. What's your favorite Elvis Costello song? Uh, my favorite uh, is Allison. Is ass to mouth an essential natural part of any sexual encounter? No, it's not. Because I've only ever done it on camera. No, wait, I did it one time in my personal life, but it was with a performer. So. So, what's your proudest accomplishment? My proudest accomplishment? I, I you know what? The first feature I put out. Because it? it was Forsaken, it was for Evil Angel, because I, I was absolutely terrified. And I felt good about it. It was, it was yeah. There's other things that are more personal, but I'd rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Work-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you currently harboring any fugitives? I am not. If you had to sing karaoke, like had to, like you're gonna die otherwise, what song would you sing? 
if I was forced, forced. against my will into singing karaoke, yes. I would sing Love Lifts Us Up Where We Belong, and I would do that duet with Tom York from Radiohead. If you were a stalker, would you be good at it? Would you be like a great stalker or a pitiful stalker? I'd be like a super good stalker. What do you think of it? Is the skill set essential? What, what are um, your credentials? I am like a stealth ninja. You, you, you would have no idea. And um, then I would get all kinds of it. I should have been a detective. Yeah. I'm stalking right now. <laughs>